stand on the tarmac of an airport, any airport, and the game is to guess where the transit passengers you see are coming from. Try it with this lot. Their trinkets and souvenirs give you the clue. This is Athens, but those slippers are harem slippers and not Greek, any more than that man's camel bells. Where have they bought memories like that Islamic plate? If you can spot some newspaper heading, it helps. And that one's from Istanbul, surely, because, yes, that Hubble Bubble pipe clinches it. They've come from Turkey. That Hubble Bubble pipe is enough to turn the airline journey home into memory lane. That's the effect of the little reminders you take home from a mysterious place like Turkey. From outside, an aircraft is impersonal international, but inside it consists of human beings fresh from an exciting experience, with their precious purchases turning the homeward trip into a flight of fancy, when they can relive all the new experiences that they'll remember forever, like the Istanbul mosques. You'll be taking your own magic carpet ride in your mind over these mosques for years to come. Flight of fancy, and before they themselves come down to earth at home, they're back in Turkey. Perhaps at Ankara, watching the National Day Parade, with modern soldiers of the skies floating down into the midst of colourful history. A parade against the backdrop of Ankara Citadel is not altogether different from the scenes you still see in the sparse country to the south. The black goats have helped to erode the hillsides, but they provide milk and meat for the nomads who herd them, and wool for the tents they live in. Wool, hand spun by a girl of no fixed address. This is the simple life, unchanged in centuries. Here it's no rarity. Just pick out the shepherd or his helpmate and look at the felt cloak they favour. Here's where a marketplace etches itself in your imagination. It's Aladdin's cave out of doors in the colourful streets. Streets that are getting harder to find as the tourists discover and disfigure them. Remember the old individual ice cream merchants here, making it that way? Well, in the Turkish market, this is a controversy, an intrusion, a novelty, a modern refinement, a newfangled gimmick. By Allah, she isn't even veiled. Coffee lubricates the market bargaining, while drinking bottles are a necessity out in the cotton fields, where a cotton flower is a bottle stopper, so prolific cotton is as a crop. Not that you'd notice, automatically, the frenzied rush there is to pick it when its rose-like buds burst open and it's ready for gathering. Linger in the cotton fields here to be sure you won't forget them and take a glimpse of the pickers at work. Turkey's unspoilt but far from backward, so it's a joy, not an anachronism, that the camel caravan still comes into the picture carting the raw cotton to the mill. You'll notice there's a baby camel learning the ropes. This is the turkey you remember. This is the colour you take home from a country that bridges Europe and Asia, that reaches to Russia and Persia, yet still keeps its eye on the Mediterranean coast. Camels and all. blue Mediterranean Sea, and Turkey tumbles into it. Just see how her rivers laugh their way to the west, dawdle here a bit where Antony and Cleopatra in their day dallied romantically. Just see that modern hotel. No wonder you can't steer away from the fact that Turkey's a fairyland with seaside waterfalls and every other delicious surprise you could ever imagine. These gypsies have walked, yes, walked a thousand miles from Bulgaria for resettlement in Turkey, their home country. They're gay when you meet them on the road because this is a happy and hospitable place to be in. But watch it, the women are shy in places, self-effacing. 
we're seeing the last signs of a way of life that's near vanishing point. Get into a big city and you'll see old and new meeting at the shoeshine box. The gold-topped polish bottles remind you of the mosques and the past, while the situation tells you that this is Ankara, the Turkish capital, an expansive city and, in fact, a modern one. Kemal Ataturk, buried in this imposing tomb, put Turkey on the modern map, allowing women equality and even slacks. His emancipation's working, by degrees, of course. The fact that they've given him a pharaoh's tomb from the past would seem appropriate here. This was once the forum of an Alexandrian-style town. The place was wrecked by an earthquake, but subsequent tremors turned it into a wonder of the world. Those tremors started a hot spring of rich mineral water flowing which made this pool and spilled over to create strange stalactites in the open air. Water from a tap deposits solids in a kettle. Water from one of the inner Earth's hot springs deposits this sort of solid waterfall down a mountainside. A giant waterfall carved across the face of a mountain is the sort of memory you expect to bring home from Turkey, where it takes a series of sunsets to remind you of all the exotic loveliness you'll never see anywhere else.